Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a traffic stop with a familiar solved card called Rebel Studio 2. Two. Yes, I've covered this guy on my channel once before. Once or twice before, anyway. And he, uh, he, well, he's a bit of a character when it comes to sovereign citizens. I mean, this guy thinks that all laws are fake and uh, the country is fake and everything like that. Of course, I've uh, come to understand that even for Sovtards, that's kind of stupid. But he's back, and he's um, madder than ever, and he ends up getting arrested once again. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. San Angelo McDonald's. Hello. How's it going? I'm Deputy Diaz, Tonkin County Sheriff's Office, reading for the stop and just speed. Speed? Yes, sir. Right before 65, I was slowing down. You're, in a, you're going 70 in a 65. That's 65 mm -hmm. sign. But I was slowing seven. down yes, as so I was... slow down before you enter into the 65 zone. That sign indicates that, this, that the, the zone that you're about to enter is a 65 mile an hour zone. You're going 70 in a 65 mile an hour zone. But I was listen, slowing listen, down, sir. Oh, come on, you should know better than that, Sovtard. I mean, you don't slow down when you hit the zone. You slow down before you get to the zone, especially if you see the damn sign. That way, you won't be caught. I mean, it's as simple as that. I mean, we uh, maybe for us, maybe not for you, though. Show speed, okay? Before I pulled you, before I pulled you over, whoever was inside the vehicle was going to get a written warning, okay? So, still gonna get a written warning because I told you you're gonna get a written warning. You have your driver's license and your proof. Uh, am I under arrest? You're right now. Uh, according to Texas Penal Code 3802, no, sir, no, sir, I must no, be under arrest. Well, well, dude, uh, as I stated before in other videos that I've seen you in, and which reminds me, you should know these laws by now, considering that. How many times have you been pulled over and arrested? I've, I don't really remember. But here is the penal code right here for not uh, presenting your license at a traffic stop. So you're incredibly wrong, dude, as always. I guess you Sobtar just don't learn. I guess it's because you just drank too much lead paint as a child or something like that. And that must be it. You have to have a driver's license. To ID. Yes, sir. You have to have a driver's license in order to operate a motor vehicle on the roadway. Well, I have a license, but uh, in order for me to hand you my identification, uh, I have to be up placed under arrest. Uh, no, dude. Uh, in the Texas Penal Code, once again, you still have to present your driver's license upon request during a traffic stop. You know, you, if you would actually take some time and read the damn laws, you wouldn't get arrested so often. But I guess uh, you're just plain old stupid, I would say. Not entirely illiterate, but just plain old stupid. You don't have a registration sticker or insignia. You have to have a post it. Well, I, I found out from my uncle that Texas has uh, gotten rid of inspections and uh, so. Oh boy, dude, you really need to uh, get some help when it comes to collecting information, especially when it comes to doing your research. Because if you look it up, it says that this law is going to take effect in 2025. So until 2025, you still have to do the inspections, you dumbass. You not want to give me your... It's not that I don't want to, it's that by law, Texas Penal Code 3802, I do not have to. Oh, boy, dude, why don't you try 
actually looking up the law and confirming it for yourself because it's easy to do. Just go to the local library, get on the internet, and check for yourself for confirmation. Because if you actually did that, you wouldn't be getting arrested so often. I know I'm saying this ad nauseum, but you are a complete moron. Yes, sir. I mean, y'all gonna get violent with me, and I'm being peaceful, and I'm trying to go do don't my thing. Violent. I never said I was gonna get violent. Because uh, if I don't do what you want, you you will get violent. You will act like a sociopath. No, sir. I'm not violent. You're insinuating that I am violent. Which I no, sir. I'm not insinuating because you're calling for backup. I'm and 18 U.S. Code 241 and 242. Right now, I stopped you for speeding and your registration's expired. Oh boy, that's the color of law argument right there, dude. I mean, it doesn't apply at this traffic stop because you're not being harassed based on your age, religion, skin color, sex, whatever. I mean, it's a traffic stop because you failed to heed to the laws of the of Texas, and therefore, you got stopped. So, it's your own damn fault, dude. So, you're not willing to provide me with your... With your well, if my license. registration is expired, I am no longer under contract okay. with y'all. If my if my inspection is expired, I'm no longer in contract. It's not a contract, doofus. You are required by law to have all those things up to date date and if you argue that state law doesn't count well let me show you a little bit of the constitution that you may want to know about it's called the 10th amendment it grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the constitution so why don't you try again oh wait you keep on trying it again and you keep on failing uh I would, I would, but I do not have to under 38. Unless you're under oh, two. I have, legal. yes, but if you make an arrest on something that is a secondary offense after being arrested, so, there's only then. Three things, there's only three things I cannot arrest for in the state of Texas speeding, texting and driving, and open container, okay? I cannot arrest for any of those, but I can arrest for expired registration because you're operating a motor vehicle on the roadway in Texas without valid uh, registration. Yes, and, uh, and both the U.S. Supreme Court and the lower courts, even of Texas, has said that no one needs a license registration and all that to be able to drive upon the highways and, and the roads. Citation needed, please, because you know what? I've seen plenty of Savtard gurus try to argue that point on their own channels, and yet all they do is quote mine little nuggets of information out of vast amounts of opinions during in court cases. That's all I've ever seen them do, and it is totally meaningless. If it were, if it were, the case that it was declared unconstitutional, then it would have circulated by now, and we wouldn't have to be doing all this. But since it hasn't, then we are still obligated to do so. You freaking moron. I, I don't even that know. is a fact. That know. They had just ruled on it this what is, year. What is your first name, sir? My, my name is Deputy Diaz, Stephen Diaz with the Tom oh, Green Oh, you can County. call me a good citizen, sir. With the Tom Green County Sheriff's Office. My badge number is 8858, okay? I know you didn't ask for it, but I'm sure. And I am getting hot. Can I run my truck to have AC? What's that? No, sir. Do not. Because I, 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 I'm, I I'm getting hot, right. and now I'm being tortured. Not I'm not going to run. Not I have no reason to license. run, sir. Now, why not you give me your insurance and you don't have uh, registration on your vehicle? Because I don't have to show you my papers if I am not under arrest. We're not in Germany, sir. We, we you know, it's okay. it's I'm, not a show me your papers so that way we can. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be as. Uh, as polite to you as possible. And I'm being polite I'm too. I'm not getting loud. I'm not hollering. I, I'm no threat to anyone. 
but I but I have someone here with the force of a gun and and and, and all kinds of other stuff that there's nothing in the U.S. Constitution that gives okay. the state okay, right now right that gives the state authority over me right now. You're wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Your registration's expired, okay? You're under arrest at this point now, okay? You're under arrest. If you do not cooperate with me, you are going to catch other charges, okay? You're going to catch resisting arrest. You're under arrest at this point. Yes, sir, you're under arrest for, okay, for operating a vehicle without a, without a registration, okay? So you can either step out of the... No, no, we're, we're way past that. You can either step out of the vehicle willingly or I will pull you out by force. See, you want to get violent, so I'll get out. Let me undo it. I'll get out. I'll get out. See, you're getting me. No, sir. And well, there you have it, folks. Stupid is as stupid does. And this soft heart is incredibly stupid. I mean, all he has to do is look up the laws. I mean, that one issue of him saying, oh, I heard that they were going to do away with the, uh, with the inspection law. Uh, yeah, you should at least look it up to see if there's an expiration on the current law, which there is. It expires in 2025, and they're going to go a different route from that point on. So that's still nuances that you really got to take into consideration. Dude, it's not so cut and dry. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.